directive which ordered schools to be reopened amidst the anti-government protests. Some schools around Nairobi are yet to resume learning activities. In Woodley Secondary School, Kibrisib County, only a handful of students reported to school today, with the school principal noting that the parents are still concerned about their children's safety. With Interior Cabinet Secretary Kithure Kindiki assuring Kenyans that enough measures had been put in place to ensure the safety of students via directive to all schools, some schools around Nairobi reported low turnout, with only 27 students reporting. We had been directed to come back to school, but unfortunately, majority of our students did not turn up. Only 27 were in school. And... We have released them at around 11 because we have heard that there is some tension in Kipra and majority of our boys are from Kipra sub-county. So I would hate to have them mix with those groups that are there because you might end up getting some of them getting involved in whatever is happening. According to Ms. Nyaga, learning activities have greatly been affected following the onset of the ongoing anti-government protests as teachers have also stopped reporting to school due to uncertainties brought by the demonstrations. A few teachers had turned up but they have also left because there is no learning that is going on. So we don't know whether they will turn up tomorrow even the teachers are fearing. We have some teachers who pass through the CBD as they are coming or as, or as they are going home. So they also don't turn up. So it is only the few that feel that they are safe, that normally come. They are also human beings. And wakigongo na mawe, hata watakufa. So, but the demonstrations are really affecting. Uh, the running, especially this area of Kipura, I feel that we are losing a lot. Ms. Nyaga additionally stated that a lot of time had been lost at day schools as compared to boarding schools who continued as usual with the learning activities despite them sitting for the same national examinations. Form 4, they, we had planned to do something with them before they do the end of term exams, but now I'm seeing a situation whereby we may not be able to do anything. Remember, we will sit for the same exams with those students who are in the class. And when the results are bad, we will not say that it was because of Mandaman. The principal has, however, called on the government and other stakeholders to take initiative and resolve the current situation, or else the state of education would continue to decline. So I'm just praying that things are going to change. We, we have peace then so that we can continue with our learning because if this mandamano goes up to that term i'm seeing a situation where we will get very bad results juliet chipko look up tv